Hey, it's Double Lot from uh, RomeoTangoBravo.net. I get a lot of questions. Uh, a lot of people, when they first see me shoot, they see that I fire a rifle left-handed. I'm actually right-handed, uh, so I shoot my pistol right-handed, shoot my rifle left-handed because I'm left-eye dominant. Kind of backwards, I know. Anyways, um, I just want to go over a quick little overview of some of the charging handles that I found real helpful. Um, especially for a left-handed person, this can also carry over into someone that uh, is looking to make their, their AR platform a little more ambidextrous. Um, when I first started out, I just kind of used a real standard charging handle. And uh, what this one has on here is a bad, Badger Ordnance uh, uh, extended latch, large latch. Um, basically what I found myself having to do with this is uh, either bring in my right hand under or over to engage this latch. A little bit larger, a little bit easier to maintain uh, uh, and grab a hold of. I quickly drop that guy in favor of the much stronger uh, and extremely successful um, the BCM Gunfighter. This one here happens to be the, uh, uh, the Mod 3. Once again, uh, I use this, this charging handle and these other two here that I'm about to go over uh, while deployed overseas. Extremely strong design, uh, very easy to manipulate. The, uh, the mechanism on this guy is, is just bulletproof. Um, I would love to see something like this in an ambidextrous form. Uh, and from what I understand, it's on the drawing board. Uh, the guys over at BCM are, are working on that. When it's going to come out, gosh, your guess is as good as mine. Next one here, this is the ACLM, uh, their ambidextrous charging handle. Uh, while overseas, I had this guy shipped to me, kind of looking for something a little more uh, uh, useful as far as an ambidextrous charging handle. Uh, I think this, I got this guy through uh, uh, Lou Tactical. Really neat, real interesting uh, uh, concept on here. Basically, I don't know if we can see this here, but it basically almost works on a camming design. So you have this latch here on the traditional, uh, traditional side. You can pull it, and it'll just unlock that little latch. Um, or you can come onto this side, and you pull it. If you notice, it cams right here in the middle, and basically unlatches that latch. And I found a, I came across a little uh, a quirk with that charging handle that I'll show you here in a second once I throw it into a gun, um, which prompted me to just go kind of back to almost a standard charging handle, uh, but set up. This one's actually made by Badger Ordnance. Uh, with their latch on it there, but it's set up in an ambidextrous um, uh, format. I got this guy from, and I'm sorry if I butcher your name, guys, but uh, Lois Hills Tactical. Great guys. Um, gave me a real good deal on this guy. It was deployed military, and I tell you what, I got this guy quicker than most of my packages uh, shipped to an APO. The, I ordered this guy, and I probably had it within the week. I mean, I was, I was amazed. But um, anyways, Basically, the, the little system on here, once again, you have the traditional side. You can grab that latch and just pull on her, and it'll release. Kind of see the, uh, the actuating there. Um, but what it is, it's just a real simple, I don't know if you can zoom in, but you can see the two springs, the two springs there. So when you pull onto it from either end, um, it basically unlatches your bolts. You can pull her back. Um, once again, they put their large latch on the other side to make this a little more ambidextrous. Um, I found that I use this charging handle the most. Um, I like it because I was real familiar starting out with that big latch initially. Um, same with the Bravo company uh, gunfighter. And so I was real happy when I discovered this guy. Um, let me quick show you the operation. I'm going to kind of throw these two away because they're not really ambidextrous. I'm not throwing them away literally. I'm just moving them to the side as you just saw there. But um, let me quick show you some of the operation here. Let me grab a gun and we'll throw it in. So we have the ACLM, uh, ambidextrous charging handle. Uh, right now here on this little AR platform. This is my uh, kind of my pride and joy. I filed for my SBR, the stamp tax while overseas. Got it, put it together, real proud, real happy. Um, anyways, this guy. Once again, here we'll do a little uh, chamber check. It is clear. Look to your heart's content. No magazines, no ammo in the area. All right, anywho, once again, this guy works either charging from the left-handed side or for a right-handed shooter, just fine as well. Uh, the one thing I did find that's kind of quirky is if I lock the charging handle back, or rather the, uh, the bolt back, 
and I go to release with the charging handle, the right side will release just fine. But if I have that bolt locked back and I go to release the charging or the bolt with the charging handle, it, it just locks up. Now for most of you, I, you know, I realize, yes, I can just go ahead and hit this paddle and it will release. Gotcha. I understand. But there's some instances where, like in the, well, clearing a weapon for whatever reason, sometimes I like to pull that. My personal preference, you know, take it or leave it, but I don't like how that locks up on there. Real quick, we'll throw in the, uh, the Badger Ordnance ambidextrous latch. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to kind of demonstrate there too is with the uh, with the Ford Assist, a lot of times my fingers, my knuckles will get knocked up using the ACLM. Where with this Badger latch, it actually raises it up high enough away from that uh, Ford Assist that I really don't come in contact with it at all. I can stay above it and operate the charging handle. So like I said, just like the ACLM, you can work it right-handed shooter and a left-handed shooter. Um, but with this guy, I'm not losing anything as far as capabilities of operation. I can go ahead and drop it with the charging handle if I want to. Um, all around, it's a great design. I like it. I like having the large Badger Ordnance latch on here. Um, but with these springs, like I showed you before in the, in the first part of the video, uh, I can understand how some debris, something might get in there, get kind of stuck. It's not as a bulletproof design as, once again, the, uh, the BCM gunfighter, but uh, it's definitely an improvement upon something like a, an ACLM, um, especially if, if you're used to um, having a large latch. It's what I prefer, it's what I use. Um, would I drop this if BCM came out with an ambidextrous? In a heartbeat. Um, and if you're out there, hey, I'd like to try one out. You know, if it's in prototype design, send her to me. I'll beat the snot out of it. We'll have some fun. But anywho, that's just kind of a look. Once again, shooting left-handed. Um, this isn't a product just for left-handed shooters. This is also for a right-handed shooter that's looking to maybe make their, their, their rifle a little more ambidextrous, a little more useful in all situations. Um, I've thrown out a couple other features on here, which I'll be doing a review. I put on a little Troy. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little Troy uh, uh, Ambidextrous Magazine release. For a long time I used the Norgren, or I hope I'm not butchering that, but the Norgren uh, Ambidextrous release, I found that it was kind of hard to actuate. I'll put up a review. But this guy, um, I've had it for a couple months now. Real happy with it. Alright folks, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at RomeoTangoBravo at gmail.com or just visit RomeoTangoBravo.net. Also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, have fun, good luck, and be safe.